Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am thrilled to have all of you guys here again. All of my new subscribers, welcome. My name is Dominique and my channel is pretty much devoted to healthy, relaxed hair. So today's video is focused on how to retain length. We all know that relaxed hair requires extra babying, extra TLC, in order to keep it healthy and growing. So tip number one, when I noticed that my ends started to look really ragged, I went straight to my hairstylist Gloria and I got a good trim. I was honest with myself and I swallowed my pride and I cut off all of those dead nasty ends because I knew that in order to get my hair healthy again, I needed to get rid of those split ends. When you have split ends, if they're left unattended, they will split all the way up the shaft of your hair, taking your hair from sleek looking to really dried out and frizzy. If you are cutting your hair at home, please go out and invest in a really great pair of hair shears, okay? So you can get these at any hair supply store. I got these at Sally Beauty Supply. These are balanced and extra sharp and they will cut your hair effectively and not cause any further broken or split ends. If you are using your kitchen scissors or those scissors that little kids use for arts and crafts, they're not balanced well. They most certainly aren't sharp enough for hair and you will be left with damaged hair after cutting it with those things. I get my hair trimmed every five to six months. I should probably get it trimmed a little bit more often, but I highly recommend that you get on a set routine for trimming your hair. All right, so next up is deep conditioning. I cannot stress enough how important deep conditioning is to your hair. The relaxer treatment is drying and a little harsh. Now, if you look at the history of relaxers, relaxers were meant to do just that, relax your hair, not beat it into straight submission. When you're relaxing your hair, it's more prone to dryness. Therefore, deep conditioning puts that moisture and hydration back into your hair. If your hair is dry and damaged, it's thirsty. It needs that moisturizing love. So once a week on the weekends, I take a morning and I wash my hair thoroughly with a high quality shampoo and these days I've been using shampoos that are sulfate and silicone free and I feel that my hair feels lighter and less weighed down and shinier. Secondly, the actual deep conditioner. So one of my favorite deep conditioners is this Alterna Bamboo Smooth Candy Intense Moisture Mask. I went to a hair care store here in my city and it took me about half an hour to find a deep conditioner that didn't have protein in it. And it was this one. I love this. It makes my hair super smooth and very hydrated. After I wash my hair and towel dry it, I will coat my hair in this stuff, wrap it up in a plastic bag, and clean my house or watch an episode of Law & Order, whatever. I'll leave it on for about an hour and then I rinse it out and throw it up into a bun. I love this stuff. It's $35, which I know is on the expensive side, but a little goes a long way, and it's really made the world of difference uh, for my hair over the past couple of months that I've been using it. So in addition to deep conditioning your hair, something that I've started doing is when I put my deep conditioner on, I will put my heat cap on and I'll leave it on for that hour and it opens up the hair cuticle and really allows the conditioner to deeply penetrate your hair and intensely moisturize it. That has been a game changer for me right there. I have a heat cap. I got it about two years ago and when I first got it I was using it regularly and then I got lazy and didn't use it very often but I got back into it and it's like I remembered how great it was. It really, really increases the benefits of your deep conditioning treatments. Okay, so the next tip is wrapping your hair at night. When you're tossing and turning at night, cotton pillowcases can dry out your hair and break it. You don't want that. They just cut down on the friction, babying your hair, keeping your hair shiny and soft and tangle-free. No matter what, I never ever 
ever forget to wrap my hair before I go to bed. If I've had too many wines at a party, if I'm sick with the flu, it doesn't matter. That is one thing that I always do. I use a silk, a silky satiny head wrap and I wrap my hair around my head and I'll clip it with some clips, put the headscarf on and then take the clips out. The following morning, I just let it out and I don't have to do anything to my hair. It remains straight and shiny and it looks great. Alternatively, you can use a silk pillowcase or like a silk or a satin pillowcase. You can go to Sally Beauty Supply and get one of their satin pillowcases. I got one recently and this does the job very, very well. So if you don't feel like wrapping your hair at night, you can just use one of these satin pillowcases and that will save your hair. My next tip is reducing heat. If you can actually go without using direct heat whatsoever, you're gonna see some major gains in the length of your hair. Direct heat from flat irons, curling irons, or using a blow dryer too close to your hair in one spot without moving it, saps the moisture from your hair. If you are using flat irons and curling irons, after moisturizing your hair with oils, that's like frying your hair too. So you have to be really, really careful with direct heat. What I've been doing over the past few weeks is I've challenged myself to go a month without using direct heat, and I'm feeling pretty good about it. Cutting the heat out of your hair, I would put that as one of my top tips for retaining length, period. It, like it's just so drying when you use a flat iron or curling iron too much it like you just see that damage really really quickly so do your research find some protective styles that you really like such as you know wash and go buns or bantu knots just embrace the texture of your hair my next tip is moisturizing and sealing your hair so for the past two three months or so I have been washing my hair, deep conditioning it, and then moisturizing and sealing and putting it up in a bun. So one of my favorite moisturizers is this Cream of Nature Coconut Milk Detangling and Conditioning Leave-In Conditioner right here. This is another gem that I found at Sally Beauty Supply. It has many natural ingredients in it, but most importantly, water is its first ingredient. So in order to properly moisturize your hair, you need to use products where water is the main ingredient. You will know if water is the main ingredient if it's listed first. You want to moisturize your hair with a water-based moisturizer and then when you're done you can use your favorite oils such as I really like almond oil or jojoba oil and I will put that in my hair after I've moisturized it with my water-based moisturizer. This has been a turning point for me. The no heat and using the water-based moisturizer. Ugh, trust, it's just really, really helped my hair. What I do to moisturize properly is after I wash and deep condition my hair, I will section my hair into let's say five or six big sections and I will spray this stuff into the palm of my hand and work it through each section, paying close attention to the center of my hair, but the center of my hair grows quite a bit more slowly than the rest of my hair. So I focus on sectioning my hair into about six large sections and really working that water-based moisturizer through each section, concentrating on the ends. I definitely work on the nape of my hair. I find the nape of my hair can be such a pain. It's definitely prone to breakage, so I really concentrate the moisturizer on the nape of my hair and the crown. I definitely noticed that like before I really started to understand my hair and use products that really help my hair. First of all I was moisturizing with oils. I I would just focus, I, I, like I would just put it on like this, aiming for the sides of my hair and not really working it through evenly. So, you know, the sides of my hair would be healthy and great, and then the back, not so much. 
When I started sectioning my hair off and moisturizing with my water-based moisturizer, then locking it in with a nice oil like jojoba or almond oil, my hair really, really bounced back. That, like, it's just fantastic. I'm so happy at that. Protective styles are so important to shield your hair from the outside elements or just the friction of your hair rubbing up against stiff clothing or scarves or coats. You can wear wigs or clip-ins, you name it. As long as your ends are tucked away and protected from the elements or your clothes, you are golden. I've gotten a couple of wigs. If I'm feeling lazy or I want a different look, I will use one of my wigs, wrap my hair up, put my wig on, boom, I look great and my hair is protected. Other protective styles that I love, as you guys know, are my trusty low bun parted in the center, or just clipping your hair up. I like claw clips. Every few months I look at these claw clips. I make sure that there's no dents or cuts in the plastic because you don't want them snagging on your hair and breaking it. So I'll replace them every few months too. Same goes for my brushes and combs. The brushes and combs a little less frequently, uh, but I replace everything at least once a year because these things get old and worn out. I drop stuff all of the time and you just don't want to be using old hair implements that eventually snag and break your hair. Another tip that I greatly enjoy that I've been using for the past three years is drying my hair with a microfiber towel or one of my husband's old t-shirts and I use them to get the excess moisture out of my hair after I've washed it. I find that your standard terry cloth towels are just too harsh on your hair. They promote frizz and dryness and in the long run I just think that they're detrimental to your hair's health. Same goes for t-shirts. I really like my husband's old worn out t-shirts because they're softer and again they just really suck up that extra moisture really well and because they're so soft they don't rough up your hair. They just baby your hair so much better than a regular towel. So the next tip that I can offer up that's really helpful and something that I need to stick to myself is low manipulation. So not playing with your hair constantly, not over combing your hair or over brushing your hair. You really want to keep the manipulation at a minimum for your hair. Always playing with your hair, messing with it, combing it, over brushing it will break it. When I'm detangling my hair, I use a wide tooth comb and the wide teeth really are gentle on your hair. So you use a really good detangling product after washing your hair to get those knots out. When your hair is dry, try finger combing it. Using your hands in your hair like that, you have a better sense of how much tension you're putting on your hair. So instead of running a comb through it and like pulling it through a knot, you can really feel a knot with your fingers and then adjust the amount of tension you need to get that knot out. I really hope that you find these tips helpful. These tips have really, really helped me and I feel pretty confident that they will help you too if you're using them properly and using them in conjunction with really great products. Just taking a little time to research what you're buying and understanding the ingredients in your hair care products it will really, really benefit your hair. The key, I feel, to healthy hair is using all of these things consistently. Get into a routine and make it a part of your day. It's like a self-care thing. Doing a little something for yourself that makes you feel better and makes you healthier, you know, from the hair down. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can also check out my blog at styledomination.com and I'm on Instagram at dominique.baker. I hope that you keep up with me to see how my own relaxed hair journey is going and anything new that I'm finding that really benefits me, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys. So, that wraps up this video again. I love you guys. Thanks so much for your support and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now guys.